Hey everyone, don't you just love how completely confusing and nonsensical Abyssrium is? So, I found some pretty late info, but still relevant info about the Halloween event, and yes, the Christmas, there's basically always, events always repeat, basically. Um, so yes, there will be a Christmas event. It seems to be, they're doing teases on Facebook, so that usually means it'll be here within a week or two. Um, we don't know if it's exactly like this one because the, the PR person in their famously nonsensical, confusing ways said is a bit different this time. So I, I'm expecting it's going to be another tank, but we, we don't really know. We won't know until it's out. Anyway, there's a very odd thing about this uh, vitality bonus. So it turns out for the first few seconds, after you come back to the tank, after it's been idle for a while, you get insanely boosted candy. And this is not mentioned anywhere. So the best way to progress in the Halloween thing is actually to play it a little bit, buy all of your upgrades, then stop playing for three hours to let the idle stuff accumulate. See, I'm getting AV candy right now, right? And after a few seconds, that will actually stop. See, now I'm back to AT vitality. That's... That's over a letter of difference, you know? It's over an order of magnitude of difference between what I get normally and what I get when it's boosted. So see, now I can buy a whole ton of levels right away. So this is basically what makes it possible. The, the thing that makes this, of, like, the getting the Snowy Owl possible is completely undocumented and makes no intuitive sense whatsoever. After you come back from the game idle, um, and you don't even have to watch the ad, I did watch the ad to get some more vitality so I can buy a fish, but uh, you don't have to watch the ad, the vitality is just, or the candy, for the first, like, 20 seconds is just insanely high. It doesn't make any sense, but that's how it works. Um, I, I don't know what to tell you beyond that. It just... Be aware of it. So, if you're like me and you're like, man, this is impossible, that's the trick. You just gotta not play it. And then when you do play it, click all the things. Because I never bother clicking on the candy things if I don't need to charge the uh, thing. So I never noticed that in the, the first few after you come back, they're insanely boosted. And so there's no real point in sitting around and playing it actively. Uh, you just gotta wait for that three, three hour bonus. Especially later on. Early on, it's not too bad. But if you're at the point where I'm at, I'm like, like AU Vitality, you really just have to wait for that idle Vitality boost. It's It just makes such an insanely big difference. Um, another thing a lot of people missed is that creating fish increases the amount of candy that you get. It does not boost your Vitality, and it doesn't say that it boosts your candy. Like I said, the developers of this game do not even... They couldn't even spell UX, let alone know what it means. Um, they have no idea how to design for user experience. They don't have... They have no idea how to design anything except for the pretty, you know, low-poly fish. The, the graphics team is great. Music team, they don't do a lot of work, but they're great. Um, coding and, you know, interface design teams... I, I don't think they have those. I think... I think it just happens. I think they just kind of, like, scrape the bottom of, like, a rock, and then the rest of the game just falls out into like a bucket and then they, you know, ship it to Google and Apple. Anyway, um, that's that's your tip on, that's pretty much how you get the, the final, that's I guess how you grind your way to the owl. A very common question that is answered several times in several places that people still ask, um, if you have to get 24 fish, what is it, the rival witch key, to which is den or something? Um, own 24 kinds of fish. You need to get the, the the wizard frog. Again, read the written guide. It's in the description. It's in the description of every single Abyssrium video I do. Um, check it out. It has all the info you need. It has all the info in this video as soon as I update it the second after I stop recording this. Um, I always recommend, honestly, the written guide. The videos are more like an update on what's brand new. Um, if you just want to play the events and get all of the most updated information in one spot, read the guide, don't watch the videos. The videos are for people who are already totally on point and just want to see the absolute freshest stuff. Uh, I can't really make every single video completely comprehensive because every single video would be like 10 hours long. Um, so yeah, and that's why I talk a bit more casually and you know, mess around and stuff in the videos because it's really not like purely, 
you know, fully comprehensive video guide. I don't even like video guides, honestly. I, I think video guides are best done in text. Um, yeah, hopefully that helps you get along. I, I figured I was totally screwed, but it's still slow. It's still maybe a hundred levels at most every, you know, three hour segment. Oh, and one final thing about this thing. Um, they said they don't know when it ends, which is great, um, but there will be a timer about six days before it ends. So there should be a timer before the event thing ends. And the tank, you still get to keep the tank. I guess you just don't get to buy fish. Again, they really could have been so much clearer on this. They're terrible at communicating anything at all, ever in any form. It's ridiculous. They even hired a new Facebook person and they're much less rude than the old one. Um, but the problem is that the, the Facebook person is not like, the dev team does not talk to the Facebook PR person, so like they never actually know things, and it's like, oh, thanks. Like, you're polite, but you don't, you can't answer my questions, it's... <laughs> is it better than nothing? I'm not, I'm not entirely sure, frankly. Um, but yeah, some things just never change, and with Abyssrium, that's everything. So, Christmas event probably in a bit. I'll have videos on that whenever. I'll stream that whenever I actually get my hands on it. Events are always a slow rollout, so if you're one of the several hundred people that are gonna ask me why don't I have the update tap tap, please don't comment. And I know a lot of people say, oh, I wasn't asking, I was just venting and stuff. Please don't vent. Hundreds of people, genuinely, hundreds of people vent on my comments. And they're like, oh no, I don't have the update. I don't wanna read it. I'm sorry, I get so many comments every time. Please, just spare me, spare everyone else. We know there's a slow rollout. Don't post about it, all right? It's really annoying. Tell the devs. Make the devs regret having slow rollouts. For, for the love of God, no other game does this. Literally, I've never played another game that does slow rollouts for updates. Oh, speaking of updates, there was a stupid bug fix update, and a bunch of people bugged me about that, too. Um, no one even knows what the update did. It was not the Christmas event. It does not do anything. As far as we can tell, just completely ignore it. It's an update. It doesn't matter if you download it or not. They probably fixed some random bug or something. Um, but yeah, they never release change logs for their basic bug fixes, so people are always confused. I don't, I don't blame people for wondering, but if I don't do a video on it, it's probably not a big deal. So that's probably my last video on the Halloween stuff. Um, hopefully you can finish the stupid, ridiculous, excessive snowy owl. Honestly, they did, they did such a good job fixing things, except for the snowy owl. The snowy owl makes playing this event as bad as it was, like, th they fixed all of the fall fish to a degree. The fall fish are still really hard. Um, but the snowy owl is basically as hard as getting the hardest, um, fall fish. So, <laughs> one step forward, two steps back with that. But, uh, eh. That's just kind of how Abyssrium is. That's how it be on this fish of an earth. That's right. So, <laughs> thanks for watching, everybody. Hopefully we'll have Christmas stuff soon, but hopefully I get this stupid owl first.